seen you uh, in the ring before. We, I, I filmed your fight down at um, Hamilton. Oh, where, yeah. yeah when that you was, fought, what, four years ago? Yeah, yeah, I looked up and it was four years had gone by. Crazy. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow. That's when I first started. That was like uh, two weeks. I had two weeks training camp for that. And uh, yeah, crazy. Tell us a little, how, how did you get in the game? Uh, just, uh, I was playing rugby and um, that sort of ended for me. I started working. I wanted to uh, get into a gym. Uh, then I found a kickboxing gym. And after the three, four weeks, my coach was like, jump in. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> he's like, you're fighting someone seven foot. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought he was taking the piss. And then, uh, <laughs> then I actually looked up my opponent. I'm like, oh, she's actually seven foot nearly. <laughs> but yeah, I like a challenge and uh, yeah. Got a free trip to uh, Hamilton and met some great people and uh, yeah, I lost a fight on points but yeah, gave it my best shot. Yeah, it was a tough, tough fight. Yeah, a yeah. big man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I was just swinging, <laughs> didn't know anything. Well, so I didn't know you were that inexperienced. So uh, yeah, it was uh, crazy four years ago and um, yeah, now I'm finally here. My dream was always to come to City Kickboxing, move to New Zealand and um, sort of COVID messed it up for me, uh, set me back. But yeah, finally here now and loving it. Learning so much, it's crazy. Fantastic. Tell us, uh, uh, what's your record now? And you, you just stuck to kickboxing? Or yeah, so out? I actually wanted to get into MMA first. Um, did a bit of jiu-jitsu at the start, um, and then I couldn't really get fights, so that's why I went to uh, kickboxing. So I'm 3-0 three, uh, three in uh, MMA, and 18-2 and two in kickboxing. And Dave's the only one to beat me twice. Yeah, so yeah. I bet him once, but yeah, he's got, he's got that extra win on me. So if you've got a fight, Eugene was saying, you've got a title fight coming out? Yeah, yeah uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's for a title. Um, I don't really care what it, what it is, I just want to fight. Um, March 18th in Adelaide, Nisa Fury at the Etza Stadium. So that's a pretty big show for who, who us. Who are you fighting there, do you know? No idea. Whoever they put in front of me, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, nah, Ethan Shep, he's, he runs that. Um, yeah. It looks after me, so, Does yeah. Does a great job. Oh, great show, yeah. you know what I mean? Big stadium, like, I love it. It's, yeah. it's yeah, best, best fight show in Adelaide. Yeah. So, yeah. kind of like King of the Ring here, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. oh, tell us about, you say you wanted to come to New Zealand. When did you finally arrive? Yeah, so two months ago. I uh, just cracked the shits at home. I wasn't like getting like uh, any sparring partners. Uh, fights weren't happening, and you know I'm getting older now. 28 just turned, so I just had to make the move. So I packed my bags, came here, and uh, yeah, loving it. It's amazing. You can see why there's so many champions here. Like they, the way they, they work hard and everyone comes together and help each other out. It's yeah, it's awesome. You had a bit of a look around the country too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, for Christmas, went away for a week, uh, went down to South Island, Hokey Tekka, down Jackson's Bay and uh, like uh, through Arthur's Pass and stuff, beautiful country, went fishing, a yeah. bit of hunting as well, oh, cool, so man. yeah, loved it. We, we, me and Jay, we're both mainlanders, we come from... Oh yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. what a place bro, I wouldn't retire there. <laughs> <laughs> well, That'll be a wee way off, yeah, yeah because... Yeah. Um, you're coming to concentrate on MMA now. Yep. Yeah, and um, uh, Eugene got anything lined up for you? Well, I, I really didn't want to do any more kickboxing fights, but it's hard to get opponents. Um, but look, I've got to pay bills, I'll fight whatever. Yeah. Um, but the, the focus is MMA. Yeah. Uh, I've still got a bit of skill development to do, so yeah, I'm, I'm in no rush, but yeah, I need a fight. I've got bills to pay, so whoever wants it can have it. <laughs> You're uh, Kiwi now. Yeah. Hey, it's really good to meet you, Thanks, mate. Tony. And we'll uh, I'll follow your uh, finally, career. Finally, finally, got to be on your TV show. Oh, <laughs> mate. Uh, awesome. Appreciate yeah, it, bro. Uh, yeah, it's um, it, it's funny, you know. You see someone I saw you fight uh, Big Dave at uh, Hamilton and called the fight and. Yeah. And never knew that one day you'd be here. I remembered your voice on the commentary. Oh, and then right. I started watching Combat TV. I'm like, I reckon that's the guy that was commentating. <laughs> and then, yeah. So yeah. that was awesome. Uh, but, uh, well, pleasure. thank you so much. I hope I could get to call many more of you. Yeah, fights, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers, Thank you. Sure. But most of all, I hope Joe Rogan's calling them for you. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, that'll, always, that'll always you. You, bro. that'll mean you're in the right, yeah. right place. Tony, oh, you were finished talking to him. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, oh, he's talking about what it feels like when um, James Buck has mouth guard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I did have a mouth guard, so I borrowed James Vaquez. And <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Chomp down on it a bit hard, yeah, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah, cheers, boys. Thank hey, you. Hey, thanks a lot. It was awesome. real good.